Welcome to the West Cancer Center. We understand that infusion treatment can be a stressful experience, and we are here to help you throughout the entire process to make sure you receive the best care available as quickly and safely as possible. We know that your time is valuable, and we want you to know exactly what to expect during your visit for infusion treatment. We'll walk you through everything from arrival at check-in to getting your lab work, visiting your provider, scheduling your infusion, how your treatment is formulated, and the actual infusion experience. We'll even give you a few tips on how to reduce your wait times on future visits. But first, there are a few things to keep in mind before you arrive. For your first treatment, come prepared to stay for several hours. Your oncology care team could consist of an oncologist, nurse practitioner, or a physician assistant, and will often be referred to as your provider. Your provider or infusion nurse will let you know how long you should plan to be here for future visits. If you're wondering what to bring with you, we generally recommend having a book or other form of entertainment, some snacks in case you get hungry, and a support person who can keep you company during your visit. Complimentary Wi-Fi is provided throughout West Cancer Center. We welcome one family member or support person in the infusion room. However, children under the age of 12 are not allowed. We encourage you to bring someone with you for your first treatment until you're more familiar with how your body will tolerate your infusion. When you arrive at the West Cancer Center, you'll have two options for parking. You can park in the parking lot or pull in front for a complimentary valet service. When you enter the lobby, you will probably see one of our WINGS volunteers wearing a red apron. They are here to assist you and can escort you to your correct check-in desk. This is your first stop. If you are seeing your provider, an electronic tablet, which we call your patient care monitor, or PCM, will be given to you. This will allow your provider to evaluate your physical and emotional health so your clinical team can address any immediate issues. You will also receive a pager that will tell you when to proceed to your appointment. Your visit today may or may not include meeting with your provider before checking in with the lab and the infusion suite. It is very important to read the message on the pager before getting up and moving. Some messages can be information only. We understand that you may be anxious, so we have a team of care support navigators to help you through this process, not only for your first visit, but they are available for you throughout your entire journey at West Cancer Center. If you're scheduled to have lab work done, that will be your next stop. Our experienced phlebotomist will draw your blood and take any other samples ordered by your provider. There could be circumstances, either for your convenience or due to insurance requirements, where you will have your lab testing done somewhere else. This is completely fine and your results are still sent to us. When you're finished with your lab appointment, return your patient care monitor or PCM to ensure your name is put in the queue to see your provider. Your type of cancer and your specific course of treatment may require a variety of laboratory test results to be reviewed prior to your treatment. These can take between 45 to 90 minutes, depending on the type of laboratory test being performed. After your lab samples are collected, you'll have a seat in the waiting room until you are paged, either to see your provider or report to the infusion room. Typically, you will see your provider the day before infusion. You have now checked in, completed your labs, turned in your patient care monitor, and possibly met with your provider. At this point, we will now place your name in the queue for the infusion room, and you can take a seat in the waiting room. While you are in the waiting room, our team is busy behind the scenes, making sure everything about your treatment is accurate and safe. Your nurse will review your infusion orders and lab results, plus verify insurance approval before receiving your scheduled treatment. This often requires additional communication with your provider to review any questions or issues about your infusion, which could take up to an hour. Only after your infusion nurse has you seated in the infusion room and taken a quick assessment will your orders be sent to pharmacy. Your treatment is specifically formulated based on your current height, weight, and lab results. For your safety, each infusion dose is prepared only after your lab results have been reviewed. Your medication can take up to an hour to be prepared and then is double checked for safety by two separate clinical staff members, including pharmacy and nursing, before being given to your infusion nurse. This entire infusion prep process is all happening in the pharmacy while you are in the infusion room. While pharmacy is preparing your treatment, your nurse will be prepping your IV and start your pre-medication with either a needle placement in your arm or your portacath. 
because some infusion regimens require more pre-meds than others, this process could take up to an hour depending on your unique situation. Once your treatment is ready, two registered nurses will complete a final series of safety checks to make sure you are receiving your medication correctly. The length of time for infusion depends on your unique treatment plan and can take anywhere from 15 minutes to several hours. Certain medications may require that you remain in your infusion room for monitoring after your treatment is complete. Regardless of how long your treatment lasts, if you have a question about any part of the infusion process, your provider or infusion nurse will be happy to talk with you about it. Once your clinic visit is over, you'll meet with one of our patient service associates to schedule any upcoming appointments. You will typically schedule your next clinic visit and infusion visit at the same time, as well as any necessary scans. For patients receiving both infusion and radiation concurrently, the entire course of treatment is likely to be scheduled at the beginning of your therapy because of the complexity of coordinating both treatments. But due to the unpredictable nature of cancer treatment, most patients will only schedule one or two appointments in advance. One question we get asked a lot is, how can I minimize my wait times on treatment day? We understand that waiting is an unwelcomed part of the infusion process, but there are a few things that you may be able to do in advance to help move things along. The infusion suite is busiest between the hours of 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. If your schedule allows, booking an appointment outside of those hours will reduce your wait time substantially. Not all treatment sessions have this time flexibility, so be sure to discuss this option with your provider first. If you're due for a scan prior to seeing your provider, scheduling that scan up to a few days prior to your appointment will allow your physician plenty of time to review your results before your appointment. At West Cancer Center, our goal is to provide you with the best possible care as quickly and as safely as possible. A host of care support services are available to support you mentally, physically, and spiritually. Please reference the website for a comprehensive list. We understand that your time is valuable, and we hope you agree that your safety is worth the wait.